I feel like crap. I need to get my whole neck cleaned up and my beard and all this mess. You want to tag along and see if we can do something about that stash? Oh, for sure. You know what? Let's just shave it. You know, I've had a lot of people talking shit on it. Let's get it done. Yeah. Or, A, hey, go fuck yourself. So let me break it down for you. The past 10 years, I've been traveling the world, tour managing artists, and showing them the best spots. I know that anywhere you go, you need that solid connect. We've taken submissions from people claiming to have the keys to their city. Now we're traveling the country to take them up on their word. I'm Justin Lazama, and this is Gatekeepers. You know, waking up back here in New York City is a good feeling. I'm heading down to leave Rochelle out of it to meet Brett David, my gatekeeper for the day. Never trust a guy with two first names. Welcome to New York. Don't die. Washington Square Park. I used to come here to buy really, really <laughs> The Lower East Side for me has always been a great area to hang out. It's got great places to shop, cool boutiques, some great pizza, because I know everyone's looking for pizza when you come to New York. It's always had amazing nightlife, from live bands to clubs to just bars to chilling. You'll find it all down here. All right, we got Rochelle's. It's morning. Yo. Holy shit. It's too early for this. Come on in. My name is Brett David. I'm the creative director of Leave Shell Out of It. I'm 39 years old, and I have lived in New York all 39 years. Well, thanks for having us. This place looks amazing. I'm 100% sure I've been here before. I'm sure you have. We're a real staple in New York. Five years as of just this past November. Well, congrats on that. That's, that's pretty official there. Thank you. The places that you've seen closing left and right in this town, to make it five years, that's instant credibility. Right. The first thing I always say is, did you make a bad decision there? Everyone says yes. Uh, speaking of bad decisions, you want to have a quick drink? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, We're in on. New York. It's morning. No better time. Here's a nice glass of some of the best rye you'll have at the best price. Thank you, sir. Free. New York, you gotta learn how to get some free shit out of here. I'll grab a ginger beer, because I don't want you to drink alone. No man should ever do that. Fair Cheers. place. Very smooth. Not so bad, right? Well, this is a great way to start a morning in New York. What do you got after this? Well, I know myself, I feel like crap. I need to get my whole neck cleaned up and my beard and all this mess. You want to tag along and see if we can do something about that stash? Oh, for sure. You know what? Let's just shave it. You know, I've had a lot of people talking shit on it. Let's get it done. Yeah. You know? Or, hey, go fuck yourself. But I'll clean it up a little bit. Justin's a pretty cool fucking dude. I think he's going to love my New York. Uh, I'm going to show him a damn good time. The rye that Brett gave me was pretty smooth. Definitely feeling it. Great way to start a trip in New York City. Miles is great. I've been going to him for years. If there's one thing you got to count on, is a good barber. We are right now on Stanton Street between Bowery and Christie. And when you think about how much the neighborhood has changed with the high-end condos and the gentrified rents, this block, nothing has happened. I call it the block that Giuliani forgot. <laughs> Let's go inside. What's up? What's up, man? How you doing? Justin. Doing? Miles. 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 Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Ready to clean me up? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Sir, looking good, feeling weird. <laughs> so you hungry? Starving. Good, me too. Yes. It's real village. Good Jamaican food in the middle of the West Village that's been here for a lot of years, and it's still here. Staying the test of time. After you. Let's eat. Hello, good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you? Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Negro Village, OK? Hey, fantastic. I always get the same thing here. What do you have? I'm going to do the escovish. And curry shrimp, always. Curry oh, shrimp? The curry shrimp, shrimp is pretty awesome. awesome. And for a drink, I would strongly recommend the coconut rum punch. Sounds great. I'll try that. OK. Hey. Cheers. Ooh, that's like a pina colada on steroids. And it was it tastes like the Caribbean. Thank you. You're Thank welcome, you. sir. Now that's a hell of a dish. Hey man, I love whole head fish. Justin gets major props for me because he ordered a whole fish. That's fish. So good. 
had some solid spice to it. My tip for spice is find something like the plantain that they have here. Munch on the plantain. It'll help you bring you back down to earth. Well, I'm psyched that we came to the grill over here in the West Village, but it's definitely an area that shows you how weird New York can be just because of the cross sections. Well, yeah, I mean, think about it. I've seen how the entire city has changed. Never been to New York City. Half the storefronts are vacant. But I mean, survival in New York, you know, it's one of the things that you hope that New York teaches you. I know I've mentioned this before, I love going to a restaurant or a place where the purveyor, the owner comes out, talks to you. Speaking of what you're saying, Francis, come on over here. Hey guys, this is the GM Francis, Justin. Hi Justin, how are you? Thanks for having us. How are you guys enjoying your meal? Everything's fantastic. Please, take a seat, join of us. Of course, of course. How are you able to stay here when a lot of restaurants go out of business? We stick to the script. Um, it's quintessential Caribbean food yep. with uh, you know, a flair. Yeah. So we change with the times while remaining the same in its nuances. This is not week one and you're the hottest place out there. You're still doing it. You're Absolutely. still killing it. 15 years from now. That's fantastic. But congrats for staying in the song and, and thanks Thank for you. having us. I of mean, course. It's of always course. nice to get and some you tea. you guys ordered perfectly. Yeah. Always. It's, oh, I, I, I need to start trying other things on the menu. So we've had a bunch of home runs so far. It's still early by New York standards. Well, when the tourist comes to town, they all want to do Times Square. F that. I'm taking you for a show you'll never forget. Next stop for us is Nurse Betty, one of my favorite burlesque spots in the city. You're never going to get a bad show here. It's a great venue. It's small. It's intimate. I'm sure they're going to put on a hell of a show. Let's find out. So like Justin said, he's been here 20 years. He's never even heard of this place, but that's what I'm here for. Yo, what's up, guys? What's going on, brother? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Justin. Steven, Justin. 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 Great to meet you. Steven. Nice to meet you, this is Steven's yeah, place. Sure. Welcome to Nurse Betty. Oh, I'm glad that you guys came to see the show. Yeah. You know, I'm excited. I always love it here. You yeah. want to meet some of the girls? Sure. Yeah, time. Come Let's on in. Let's check it out. It's going to be wild tonight. So we're doing a Hanukkah-themed show. And oh. kind of the theme is like, Hanukkah lasts longer in New York because there's so many shining stars. And we keep it lit all the time. You're in for a treat. All right. I've been to a couple burlesque shows around the country, and Nurse Betty's stands up to that. So I highly recommend it when you're in the Lower East Side or if you're visiting New York. It's a great spot. Come to Nurse Betty's. The show tonight was as good as anyone I've ever seen. I mean, these girls are killing. If you haven't been, go. Next stop is one of my favorite spots to eat, La Esquina, right in the middle of Soho, not too far from the Lower East Side. If you want a true taste of New York hospitality, this is the place to go but you won't get in unless you know somebody. Tonight, you know me. La Esquina is dope because it's very unassuming. You can walk up, looks like a normal taco shop. Cool to come down? Of course, man. Thanks, brother. Oh, for sure. But head down through the staff door. It's a whole different restaurant downstairs. Full menu, bar, DJ. So I brought a few friends of mine tonight, Danielle, Dana, and one of my best friends, Alex. Just good people that I love hanging out with. Bad decisions that night. Bad decisions. Serve nightly. Serve nightly. Yeah. Serve nightly. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So tonight, a lot of the food is really good. Eat up, everybody. But that beef shank was really fantastic. I haven't had that here before. I'll definitely have it again. I love me some Brussels sprouts, so we'll start with this. I got you. Brussels sprouts are actually one of my favorite items. Well, I happen Which to be a shockingly. Brussels sprout connoisseur. Are you actually? <laughs> That's a damn good Brussels sprout. Brett is definitely one of those Lower East Side personalities. Definitely knows his <laughs> good spots. Knows people where he goes. Our Don't friends know. either love me or hate me. I think I, that's most of New York City, though. That's true. Uh, that's true. Most of New York just, City either loves you or hates you. Just wait till we get the comments on the video. Other than uh, La Esquina for late night food, what else do you guys like in New York? Mac Attack at Cafeteria, cafeteria. is the place to be. Cafeteria. Honestly, the I agree with that. The mac and cheese is so good. I ordered it in 1997. This got dark really quick. 10 degrees outside. Those motherfuckers you, will be open. And you know when you eat it, you're like, my stomach's going to be shit tomorrow. Yeah, but I think the best part is when you sit there and you're like extra white sauce, they start giggling at you and they're like, ha, ha, ha. I love that. Justin's uh, definitely one of the cooler cats that I've met in New York. He's got a style and flair about him. And I figured, why not introduce him to some people that kind of fall along the same lines? 
Hey, great way to finish the night here at La Esquina. Solid tacos for New York City, and it's hard to find a good taco here. Actually, you know what? They never brought the tacos. We didn't have tacos. I guess it's harder to find than you thought. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. My man. Tacos. My man. Tacos. Thank you. Thank you. Tacos Wednesday. Yes. Day one, New York, totally random. But that's what you want when you come to New York City. You want the experience, you want the randomness, and you know New York's got spots on spots on spots. Tomorrow morning is going to be a lot of fun. I don't want to give too much away, but there's going to be a lot more skin tomorrow morning. New York City. After last night, I don't know about you, but I need a detox. 100% down, and just another good reason to come back to my old hood, so. East Village, baby. That's it. The girls got naked last night, it's our turn. Let's make some money. That's right. Last night was a hell of a night. Justin and I both needed a detox, and the Russian Turkish baths are something that he's been to, I've been to. It's his old neighborhood, it's my city. It's a perfect idea and a great way to start the day off. It's so cold. I'm always down for a good bathhouse. There's nothing like burning yourself out and hopping into a cold bath. Very cathartic. Just when you thought today couldn't get any more Russian, serving up some borscht. Borscht, boys. In the house. I'm always down for some borscht. Ooh. This is very nice. Yes, sir, thank you. Best thank you. borscht on 10th and A. Okay. Yep. We got a couple pieces of bread. Uh, Ukrainian beer. You ever been to Ukraine? I haven't. We're in the East Village. It's not that far. It's, kinda, it's really kinda. not. <laughs> How's your golf game? Eh, yeah, mediocre to decent. All right, well, mine's far below that. But we're gonna go to a great golf spot, Five Iron Golf. Friends might have told me all about it. I'm down for some random fun. How about a little uh, little wager? Okay. If you play a better game of golf than me, I will give you a shot of my most expensive whiskey at the bar on me. Okay. And if I do better than you? I'll give you a shot of your most expensive whiskey at the bar. So it's lose-lose. Hey. Let's do it. Welcome to the Flat Iron. Hey. We're no longer downtown, but we're creeping up a little bit. Creeping up for sure. Ready to hit some of those balls? I'm ready for a round or two. All right. Five Iron Golf. Bad decisions, that's what we do here. It's New York City. Real clubs, real balls, real beer. Game time. Bet on Brett, let's go. Bet on Brett, all right. All right, Justin, Brett, welcome to Five Iron Golf. Thanks for having us. I'll show you a quick little demo. Basically line the ball up around the tee. You're gonna get this green little check mark. That means you're good to go. Step, take a cut. I don't think I can do that. I've got faith in you. I think you'll be all right. <laughs> Hello, ball. Tom needs a helmet. <laughs> My golf game was it was terrible. Brett was god awful. I wouldn't bet on me, but today was a good day to bet on me. Oh! He's going hiking, but it's a tough one to beat there, Brett. He's in the bushes. How hard is that to be? Well, it is me. It is me. All right, guys, last hole. Oh, he's getting the water. In the weeds again. Woods beats water? Woods beats water. Yes, I think. Hey. We got the winner in Justin. Are you Pleasure a Scotch? was mine. Scotch or bourbon, what's it gonna be? Ooh, your choice. You're getting a 50-year-old Samarilli. Oh, wow. Oh, come there on, a f***ing trophy? Really? It's a fun time. It's a good random activity to throw into your New York City type of day. Five Iron Golf is pretty cool. I don't own a Patagonia vest, but maybe I'll buy one. Our next stop in New York City is one of my favorite downtown sandwich shops, Regina's Grocery. Justin, a New York native, has been out of here for a little bit. This place has only been there a year or two. So get ready, because we're about to stuff our faces with a lot of meat. I know I'm hungry, how about you? Starving. Can't make a trip to New York City without a great Italian deli. This nope. is Regina's Grocery, one of my favorites, so you go first. Its reputation precedes it. All right, I'm starving. Yep. My man, 
What's going on, Peter? Good to see you. Peter, Justin, How Justin. Peter. Super excited for this one. He's been talking this up so hard, and this looks amazing, so. So what do you, uh, what do you want today? You got any good specials today? Yeah, we have beef meatball parm. I'll have that. That sounds perfect. Cool. Mm. And you? So many good options. Uh, you know what? Why don't I do that, uh, Uncle Jimmy? Oh, all right, got it. Wonderful. We're going to grab a couple drinks and sit down. Thank you, Peter. I've been waiting for this. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, meatball delicious. parm. This is about as pretty as it gets. You ready for a damn good sandwich? I'm ready for a damn good sandwich. First, we eat. Wow. Mm. It's legit. I can leave New York in peace now. How do you normally find your spots? Well, I found this spot through Peter. He worked with me and just fell in love with the place. I come here all the time. We could have gone to Carnegie or Cat's Deli, but those are cliche and no. a, th a thousand times over. This place is, uh, well, it feels like home. Yeah. And it looks like your grandmother's kitchen. That's why we're here. Regina's highly recommended. The space is beautiful. The food is equally beautiful. And I'd like to thank Brett for introducing this to me. It's a very special meatball. That's what my mother used to say about me. For the win. This trip is a win. 100%. Jeez, I'm so full, I don't even think I can finish this. You're not gonna finish that? <laughs> hey, Tom, you want half of this? Thought so. Well, wrap it up for Tommy T over there and join me in one last sip. Cheers. Because we got a lot more drinking to do. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. For the record, I haven't stumbled out of a place in a long while, so we'll see if this guy's got the uh, the key. You should be excited, and if you're not, wake up! Because next stop is my bar. Leave a shell out of it, but I know he's gonna love it. Shut the f up already! I'm trying to make a movie, OV! Justin, I'm a man of my word. You're a lousy golfer, but you're still a hell of a lot better than I am. Barely. I got a great, great Petey Scotch for you. You said you like what you like. I'm gonna give you what you like. Fantastic. I gotta go up high for this one. You see what that is? That's real dust on that bottle. It's so good and expensive, we don't serve it every day. So enjoy that. Thank you. To the winner goes the spoils. Here's to Brett for having me here in New York. Show me a great time. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Enjoy. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Are you seeing this? The Summer Rally was probably one of the best whiskeys I've had. Top notch. I don't even know what to say. It was just so smooth. So we have our best selling cocktail. It's called Daddy Issues. Wow. Justin definitely loved the whiskey that I gave him, but I think he really liked the daddy issues too. Cheers to all the mustache haters. May you have one of these one day. Bye. No, I don't. Tonight's been great. We had some drinks, we had some fun. No great night ever ends without a slice of really good New York pizza. We're going to Williamsburg Pizza for one of the best slices in all of downtown. All right, late night spot extraordinaire, Williamsburg Pizza. Oh, I dig that uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mosaic up there. I mean, it is New York City. Look at that. All right. Look at you serving me for a change. Hey, right? Nice. Fridays and Saturdays, they're open until 5 a.m. It's, uh... This looks pretty Jesus. This looks pretty Jesus. <laughs> this looks pretty legit. Well, I do say slice oh God slice. when I eat it. I got a slice slice just because we're in New York. Salty cheese, sweet tomato sauce, crispy crust. I don't want to get better than this. Less is more. You, you, you don't need all the fixings. And you definitely don't need pineapple. No, genuinely great slice. I've never been to Williamsburg Pizza. We're in the Lower East Side location right now. There's one in Williamsburg, the original. Hmm. The guys behind here have a bunch of properties in the neighborhood. Pizza. If you love mushrooms, you'll love this pizza. Mm. Wow. There's a little truffle oil on that. Yeah, a little truffle oil. Anybody else? Oh, hell, pass it around. Genuinely, good slice. Have a good time. Thank you again for having me. I had an amazing two days. I don't say goodbye because I know I'll see you again. New York is the biggest small town in the country. It's a very small scene in a lot of ways. Come by and be a part of it. I look forward to having you all in my home, along with Justin, anytime.
had a great time. Brett did New York justice as gatekeeper. I'm gonna hop on the train, head to the airport. See you next time. <laughs> it's hot. Thanks for watching this thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching this season of Gatekeepers. From the bottom of my heart to the tip of my mustache, I truly appreciate you guys joining me on my adventures. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going inside because it's raining.